Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Simona's Requiem. We are doing a pretty good here, I believe. We ended up beating the time eye in the last episode and now we are looking for the next person to defeat and I do not know who that is, but I do believe I know where they are and that would be up this way we went east we had an option to go east or south we went east and now it is time to go south i believe it was just up this way a little bit and i do believe it is time to go south let's grab up all these little experience points as much as we can because yeah experience points are good and we want to get as much experience as possible here we were in the red cave once and there's still a way to go in the red cave way back there i'm not sure if that's going to come into play i believe there is a way to go not 100 percent sure of that but i believe there is a way to go back there in the red cave and we'll explore that once we am done with this way this is again gustavo gustavo you whippersnapper it's good to see you again hello simona i see our paths cross again they do indeed did you ever get to see the master of the clock tower? Oh, yes. There were some things spinning around in there. And I was even in outer space for a bit. Sounds like quite a predicament. Nah, man, it was nothing. Okay, maybe it was a little thing. Now, I wonder what that allows us to do. I'm a little perplexed on this little, I don't know, insignia thing there the little red flashy dot thing i'm not sure how that is affecting me or does something is it going to benefit me in some way or is supposed to give me a bounce or something i don't know that's see what other troubles we can get into there's another toad i like the toads though i know what we could do like a couple of hits in a row if we are in the air which actually helped out quite a bit when we were fighting the clock master i, I don't know what to call him i wonder where that slime went to there he is and a, of course another bat we all love the bats don't we i wonder if that lets me do my double jump again no doesn't seem to let's try again i want to see what try to figure out what that does for us it seems to boost us up a little bit but i'm not sure if it's just that or is there something else involved there as well I'm not sure how close we are to the next level we're getting close to level six Ooh, another save point i mean something dangerous is gonna happen so, giving us nice platforming here nothing too difficult but definitely something a little bit challenging here and i like it here we oh we did not make that i think if we dash we will make it there we go we got a little bit of damage there because of that skeleton but i think we ugh. yeah this is gonna be tough ah oh, if that bat wasn't there i would have had that gotta be careful and make sure that i take full use of the dash option here 
in some of these i believe i don't think i'm taking the dash as well as i should i think if i come down here hit that that's going to boost me up a little bit and that's going to allow me to use my double jump a little bit later and that's what is going to be exceptionally helpful here and i like that just a little thing to help our double jump out a bit i want to see what's over this way let's go oh green meadow or do we want to stay in the blue cave that's interesting oh that's not gonna yep i saw as soon as i saw that go i knew that i wasn't gonna make it so i you know what i there we go this is gonna be tricky here i believe nope i think we need it <laughs> so close i think we need that one back i'm not sure if we need that hit there that bat's gonna be in my way oh we have to be right in that edge i think to be able to get that like right on the edge there that's not gonna be enough it's gonna stop back over that bat's gonna be completely in my way every time isn't it can i do that there we go aha we made it Woo! that was a nasty little bat too mean old bat i think i can make that without hitting there we go oh no no i was he stabbed me sneaky skeleton with the stab oh hit him there we go it's definitely been the most complex the platforming has been but it's not terrible oh there we go i want to try to get some of those yeah get some of that experience up there battlefield we have two new areas to explore here we got the battlefield in the oh wow there was something on the other side <laughs> i'm sorry i just didn't expect a flaming person running at me that's awesome that is so cool oh gosh that was hilarious uh that was so unexpected to have that there oh this is kind of creepy here Definitely, I love the mist here in the castle in the background showing the clock tower and everything. That's really cool. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh gosh. Okay, so we got a couple things going on here. It looks like we got somebody trying to shoot at us and as well as his punch and then flaming guys. Out. his punch is pretty nasty if i get hit by it so we got to be careful there i need i was hoping that i get a third one in there but we did not if you're really good at it and do the delay just right you can get three hits in the air I'm not sure if that really helped me out any or not Ooh, I got lucky there. Little mini boss there. That was cool. I liked it. Sets me up for a little bit of a worry about what's coming up next. A sea of blood. That does not. Oh, okay. Castle door. Okay, okay. Wonder who that is up there. Oh, can I talk to him? Why, hello there admirable how you took down that beast i must say thanks man um is that a cannon you have next to you oh yes good friend this is my favorite cannon betsy i see hey betsy the cannon hey go go i i'm 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 good with that the underworld wow okay watch your step 
Now, should I jump down into the underworld or leave that to last? That seems... I don't think... The way this game has been playing, I don't think there's going to be a part in which something is not recoverable from. So let's jump down into the underworld. Wow. Oh, that's, that's so creepy. I don't want to really be in the underworld. <laughs> We're just falling forever, aren't we? Oh, wow, that's kind of cool how it stopped us. I wonder if I could run against the wall. Ah! Wow, we are falling. I hope there's not fall damage in this game. Getting spookier. Oh, what was that? Are there just lights or souls or... In the world? I think they're supposed to be lights of some sort. Lighting up this cave or almost looks like a tower or something, but it's got brick. It's not rock. Wow. I'm officially creeped out here. This is... There's some nasty stuff going on here. And much harder things to defeat. That took a lot of hits to kill. And that guy is too, I feel. Ooh, I like his little slash attack. The use of green here is really unnerving, to be honest. Oh, shoot. Ow, get out. I bet you that's going to hurt me. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, that really does hurt me. So the green stuff is poison, so we got to make sure we stay out of that. Oh, he respawned, didn't he? Jerk. Jerk face head. Yeah, those green glowy lights in the background are awful disconcerting. Oh gosh, these things just... At least the crystal thing shows a little bit of a knockback. We're going to see if we can get him to come over this way a little bit and then scoot over. There we go. I like the knockback on the crystal. That's definitely helpful. But these guys here do not have any knockback. Oh, shoot. Let's see if we can get back up there without getting them too terribly attached to us. Okay, we, I think we can handle them here. I don't mind dealing with them again, really, because I kind of want the experience. They're not difficult to kill, and the knockback is quite helpful. Oh, they're really coming at me hard here. I got the poison again. Shoot. And I'm going to have to that. Oh, no, we got it with the double jump. I'm trying to figure out the best way to set this guy up so that I have room to attack him. A little bit of the experience there. I want this guy to come back alive. I think I got reach over to him. Yep. Awesome. I knew I saw him, but I didn't have a chance to maneuver. Oh, he's going to get me. I need to get up to a place at which I can heal again. I don't think these little red balls heal me any. Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, that's good. So they heal me a little bit. But really not equal to the amount of damage I'm taking. Now that two attack definitely helps. I am not going down into the poison for that. That does not as well. Hell, let's sit, let's go down into the poison anyways. That's not a good thing. I really don't want to be in the poison. And of course, the red healing ball falls in the poison.
All right, go back that way. <laughs> go over that way. Because I want to sneak up behind. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to... Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I got him. Yeah, that was kind of cool. And we are in the complex. I'm assuming we're still part of the underworld. Maybe. Ooh, that's a new area. Interesting. Well, we got a save and our health filled back up. So we made it through the underworld. And we've got some of these things now that supposedly seem to be helping us make the jumps we need. Oh, I was wondering if that was something else over there. I'm gonna make it to a boss here. I'm not sure. I kind of like those little things that boost me up a little bit. Oh, that was close. Oh, I was worried about that. We got to get this is some tight platforming. Not perfect. Pixel perfect here, but we're getting pretty close here. Ah, shoot. Oh, wow, that really messed me up. Hit that and then do my double jump. I think on some of these, I need to do it that way. It's just, it's so close here that you get a little worried that you're going to make it even though that you hit it. Uh, oh, so close. Ah, okay. I was a little worried about that one. Okay. See if we can do this. It's this one that's giving us a hard time here. Sometimes it seems I could do that double swing and sometimes I can't and I'm not sure what it is that is making the differential there. And to land right on that is going to be hard on that one. Here we go. Use our dash first and then the double jump in which we could line it up a little bit better or have a little bit more control over it. I break that glass. That'd be kind of cool if I could break that glass. Oh, this just got really complicated here. We're getting close. We need about 40 more. Ooh, this doesn't look like fun at all. But I'm not going to worry about those. And that's kind of nice is it set you up so that if you don't have the double jump or the dash, you still can do some of these. Are these still only one each? Yep. That's really low experience, but ah, we can make it. Yeah, it's it's definitely a little bit easier with the dash as well. Make sure that I get him as far out as I can. He doesn't have a chance. My reach is much further than his. Yeah, I don't think I can make that. That might be where we're heading to. Ooh, we're gonna have to jump from this it looks like yeah there we go
It's all about timing. I think there's a delay. Once you swing, you've got to have time to finish the animation before you can swing again. I think that's how you get the double swing or even a possible triple swing in. Ow. And also when you swing to when you get that little boost up, makes a big difference. We've got to be getting close. We get about four or five experience, I think, from each person. Or for, from each. Oh, that didn't work out well for us. I tried to land in between them and ho was hoping that I can get him with the backswing as well but oh yeah that's level eight sweet a little bit more health is never gonna hurt another save spot like it like it you're gonna how far is it gonna come back okay it comes back to the wall I'm gonna ooh. Can I just jump double jump over him. There we go <laughs> Ah, there we go Ooh, this guy looks kind of cool. What is this? Oh, it's okay. It's just an elevator. I thought that guy was going to come and attack us. Oh, we got another item here. Teleport. Up or Y. Oh, what's going on? Where are we teleporting to? That's the end of the world. I'm scared. Hello? Why, hello there, stranger. How can I help you? I jumped down this really deep hole, you see. Then there was this place that I can only describe as the creepy basement of the world somehow. Now I don't know how to get back up. I see. That seems about right what do you mean it's not right it's wrong what is this place what is going on i have been here a long time or i just arrived it's hard to tell it's not something i try to bother myself with anymore great another insane person speaking in haikus just what this quest needs you misunderstand me stranger i have far from lost my mind i have just accepted my fate there is no way to leave this place. Oh, that's not good. Wonder what happens if I hit Y. Ooh, okay. So we can travel to different areas. We can only travel to certain areas, it looks like. Interesting, hold on. What did that say? What did the sign say here? It just said the end of the world. Okay. I am a very, the underworld. We're back in the underworld now. I might just have to teleport, but we haven't been here. I don't believe. Shoot, I didn't make that jump. That's not good. I feel that there's something over there. 
Oh, come on. You started melting right before I finished you both off. That's not fair. Can I teleport at any time? No, it appears that it has to be at one of the signs, I think. Oh, there is. That is exactly, I guess, sort of what I was looking for. I can't do it. It's too hard. Epiphany 4. Epitaph 4. Not Epiphany. Those two things are vastly different things. We might have to just find the next save spot and go from there. Oh, that was close. I was not. Oh, am I not going to be able to get back up there? Oh, that was close. Oh, with all that poison down there, I was a little worried. I'm not sure I want to just jump off of a ledge though either. I made it. Yeah. Oh gosh. I am lost. Am I? I've been here. I've definitely been here. Okay. So I want to see if I can go back this way. But I'm not sure I've been over here though. Or have I? Oh, okay. That was the under part that I did not want to go to. I didn't want to drop down into. Okay. I know where I am. We're back. We're definitely back in the underworld where I, okay. I guess what we'll do is, can we get back there? I just don't know. If we can get back to that sign now. Gotta go. I don't really want to just walk through the poison. That's just not a smart way to go about it. Let's see if we can find another save spot here. I think the best thing to do here yeah, there's the complex. We're able to go here, but I don't think there was really a boss of any sort in here. So we definitely have to go back. Well, there was a, where was the map? There was a, yeah, purple one there at the complex. Maybe we could warp there and see where else we can go. There is a couple other places. I know that in the red forest, we had another exit and see where that takes us. But this is some weird stuff over here and I'm not so sure I like it, but that's going to be our episode for today. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode of Simona's Requiem. Bye everybody.